Um, okay, uh, one last part that I want to be able to add on to this. One last part. We've we've made the queries from our website. We the, the website has been able to query itself. We've been able to make the queries from a different computer. We were even able to have the queries go and leave our router and go out to the scoring server. That, that's how I'm looking at the scoring server right now by typing in score.ncacybergames.org and it, it pulled everything up. What if I wanted the queries to enter from the external side? Oh, what if I want this external Kali computer to be able to query into the DNS server that's on the internal side here? In other words, we're going to have to make a DNS request, but it's going to have to go across the router. How can I have my DNS request go across the router? It's like, well, we could start, let, let's start here. Let's start by doing the configuration on our external Kali, just like we did on our internal Kali. All right, so where's my external? Here's my external Kali. All right, I can log into this one and say, right now, this particular computer, it visits the scoreboard by going to the IP address. And I want it to be able to query the DNS server to get it from, let's say, the score.cnyhackathon.org part. So right now, this doesn't have a DNS server. Oop, let's go ahead and uh, log back out of this and say, all right, so we're just logged into our Kali machine here. This doesn't have a DNS server, so it won't be able to respond uh, or won't be able to resolve NS lookup requests because it doesn't have a server to go and query. So we're going to have to add in the name server to that particular computer. Now, the name server, though, that we're going to be adding is actually going to be the router because the router is what's going to send this to the internal side. All right, so let, let's let's go ahead and follow me on this one. I'm going to do a sudo nano slash etc slash resolve dot conf, and we'll type in our password here. So because this has to go across the router, we're going to set the DNS server to be the router itself on the 172.20 side because because this doesn't have any knowledge about the internal uh, IP address of this particular computer. But what it can see is it can see the router. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the, the DNS server to be the router, and we'll then have the router, when it receives this DNS request, it'll route the DNS request to the internal web, in, internal DNS server. So in other words, I'm going to have my, my, uh, uh, my DNS server actually be 172.20.myNumber8.1. That's what I'm going to add in here, because this is, a, this is something that the external Kali can actually see. Name server is going to be 172.20.8.1. That's a computer the external Kali can actually see. The external Kali cannot see the 192.168. It can only see the external side of the router. Okay, fine. We'll go ahead and we'll save that. All right, so it can make queries against the router. And what happens if it tries doing it right now? What happens if it tries doing like an NS lookup of something like www.ncaecybergames.org? It's going to try to make the query, right? It's trying to go to the router, but the router doesn't have a DNS server, and the router is currently not routing the requests inside. So it kind of gets stonewalled right here at the router, right? Timed out, no DNS servers could be reached. It didn't get a response. So that's what we want to be able to do, but now we're going to have to go to the router and actually route this request into our uh, internal web server, into our internal DNS server. Okay, so uh, we can pop over here and let's pop open our CentOS router. We'll make this one go full screen. We've been making a lot of changes here, of course, to our uh, to our router to be able to add in services like forwarding the SSH traffic, forwarding uh, in our uh, uh, in, in our web traffic to make the mini hack successful. It's like, well, the same idea. We now need to be able to forward in our DNS requests as well. So we've had this pseudo firewall CMD dash dash permanent right this dash add forward port. It's like, well, we got to run that same command again. Okay, so let, let's go ahead and give that a try. Let's, let's, I'm going to hit a couple up arrows here. And I've got the sudo firewall dash cmd dash dash zone equals external dash dash permanent. So if anything hits the external zone, this is a rule I'd like to apply. But I don't want to just forward port 22. It's like, well, what, what port do I want to forward? Well, what port is DNS? DNS happens on 53. So if I add in port 53, is that going to work? Is that going to be good enough? Am I going to be able to forward traffic on port 53 
on the outside to port 53 on the inside. This is a real common thing that people try to do. And they say, yeah, sure, let's give it a try. We'll type in our password of password. We'll then do a reload, right? A couple up arrows here. I could do a pseudo firewall that CMD reload. And we'll be able to then go and list the zones. Again, the, what I just did a moment ago with the SSH in previous videos, list all zones equals external and say, hey, look, I added in the port forwarding. Now the external request on port 53 is going to get forwarded to the internal device. Is it working? All right? If I go to my external computer here, if I go to the external and try making this request again, are, are you going to resolve? What's, what's happening? And of course, this is one of the most common examples of when we get into a failed route. A failed routing a, a, a forward here. Um, now here's the real important part we need to understand. When you look at the command that we just ran on our router, add forward port, port equals 53, sounds good. Protocol equals TCP. What protocol does DNS use? Hint, not TCP. So you did successfully forward in the traffic, but you were forwarding TCP requests on port 53 to port 53. Oh, DNS uses UDP, not TCP. And so if you forward in just by copying your for port forwarding commands, just like you did with some of your other services, specifically for DNS, this isn't going to work. We're going to have to remove this port forwarding rule that I just added. This is not a good rule. It's almost a good rule, but almost, yeah, not, not good enough. So we're going to have to forward this in, but let's forward in UDP traffic instead of TCP traffic. Okay, so how do I remove my previous rule? We could hit a couple up arrows and say, there is the rule that I added. And instead of doing add forward port, let's do remove. All right, I'm going to change the word add to remove. Remove forward port. Port equals 53, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I'll hit enter on that. I'm doing a remove forward port on this instead of an add. Now I'm going to do an add forward port. Right, I'll hit a couple up arrows here again, and I'll say, there, here's my add forward port. And I'm going to do this time, I'm going to say, let, let's go to port 53. Right, I still want port 53 to be my two port. I still want that to be my originating port. So from port 53 to port 53, but the proto equals TCP. I need to change the TCP to no longer be TCP. I need to say proto equals UDP. Right, proto equals UDP. UDP is going to be the protocol that we're going to have to uh, forward across. So I'm now adding in a add forward ports. All right, I'll hit enter on this one. Okay, success. Now let's go ahead and do our reload. All right, I'll do a firewall dash CMD uh, dash dash reload. Okay, we'll kind of clear my screen and take a look at the list all zones this time. All right, firewall dash CMD dash dash list all dash dash zones equals external. And we'll see this time, hey, now I was able to correct the zone. I still have 53 going to 53, but now my protocol is going to be UDP instead of TCP. Okay, now let's give it a try from the external side. All right, let's go back to my external Kali. What happens if I try doing the NS lookup now? Oh, responds right away. It responds right away. It tells me, hey, I was querying the outside of the router, which actually got forwarded to that internal DNS request, but the Kali machine doesn't see that. The Kali machine doesn't see the forwarding that's happening. It just sees I queried this particular computer and I got a response. And the response was to www.nca cybergames. Well, the response was go to 192.168.8.2, which in this particular case is not actually a, a, a site that could be resolved coming from our 172.20 address. That, that's kind of the risk you run when you run DNS requests that go to the internal on some other network. It, it might not be something you'd actually be able to reach. You know, maybe it is, maybe it's not. Um, something, of course, we could reach, though, would be the scoreboard. Right, if we do an NS lookup of score.ncaecybergames.org, that will resolve to say, well, try going to 172.20.0.1. Hey, that, that one actually is something we can resolve. So if I wanted to open a new tab and try saying, well, how about I try going to that score.ncaecybergames.org, I could actually go and visit this. It says, hey, I've never seen this site before. Are you sure you want to trust the certificate at this site? It's like, yes, we want to trust the certificate. It's like, hey, now I'm at the scoreboard, right? It's all the same scoreboard. You're visiting the same exact machine. We're still logging in with the same credentials. But this time you were able to access this by going to a domain name instead of just visiting the IP address directly. You're getting to the same machine, but it's how. 
what was the path and what was what was uh you know the, the the level of trust that i have as to where is it that i need to go and where do i not need to go right this time we're following the dns server instead of typing in the ip address directly but you can still go and verify how is a dns server responding by doing commands like the ns lookup command Right. I could do an NS lookup. I could do the reverse of this, right? And say something like NS lookup of 172.20.0.1. And it goes and it resolves and says, oh, you're trying to get to a score.ncacybergames.org. So that's a really critical thing about the forwarding. If you want to do the forwarding for DNS, you have to start paying attention to protocol. The protocol is not always TCP. You got to know the ports. You also have to know the protocol. But now you could query a DNS server from an external network. Most of the time we're querying DNS servers internal to our network and then we go out. But it is possible you could go from the outside and query inward as well. But, you know, then a lot of our other networking uh, type concepts kick in. So really complex service, lots of moving pieces, lots of important uh, files that are associated with this. Right? There, there were a lot of those configuration files. There's a lot of little details that can go wrong. I'll, I'll emphasize again a lot of the details that go wrong sometimes they're related to permissions this is why I copied some of the files be real real careful as you go and make those zone files pay very close attention to your spacing and your curly braces and the semicolons and the periods you know one little thing off and and, and maybe now your service doesn't restart properly so and try to work through these files like one step at a time start with your zones go into the forward go into the reverse and then kind of backtrack things from there when it comes time to test test within the computer itself Right? We, we, we did a test by testing it right here from the web server itself, right from the DNS server itself. Then we tested from our internal Kali. Then I tried routing it across and testing it from the external Kali. Really good things to do when you want to test to see, is this working one step at a, one step at a time? And, and definitely being able to configure a DNS service uh, functionally and follow the, 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 the proper content that you're supposed to resolve, like a scoreboard or www or whatever, like that's definitely going to earn you a lot of points in our competition. So, uh, all right, uh, let, let, let's continue on with some more uh, content in some future videos, but uh, th this, this was definitely a really big hurdle to get across.